Hi there YouTube, Big G back again with another video and today I visited the Connect Port Elizabeth Geek Convention. This was held at the Nelson Mandela University Sports Auditorium or uh, Sports Hall and as you can see as I pan over the top of it, lots and lots of stalls, uh, mostly to do with cosplay as well as with uh, all, all things for geeks. Um, lovely Lego set over here as I'm walking past. I mean just look at all that. I mean, the hours it must have taken to put all that Lego together. So I'm just going to do a quick little walkthrough of the actual venue and uh, touch on a couple of the exhibits that they had and maybe even some of the cosplay. I must say I really enjoy this Lego. Some lovely Star Wars stuff here as well amongst the Lego. I mean, look at those figurines. Punishing one there. And there's the hound. And of course, a beautiful tie fighter. And obviously, a lot of geeks around uh, the Connect Geek Festival. Cosplay was obviously the big draw card. Um, lots of cosplayers, and I must say, a lot of effort went in by the cosplayers. All of them dressing up and getting into the mood and into the swing of things. Even a couple of arcades, machines. I'd love to have been able to display some of my arcade machines here. And maybe I'll do that in the future. I did speak to one of the organizers and I actually asked him if I could put up a table and uh, display a couple of my uh, vintage consoles on there. And they said that'll be fine. So I actually went and did that. I grabbed a couple from my display shelves and I'll stack them up and I'll show you just now. Lots of board games. I must say they are the rave at the moment, board games. My son enjoys them. Greens. thing they didn't have much of was retro gaming hence I wanted to bring my own along some Warhammer my son actually played a game earlier with mean, such detail in those figurines I don't have the patience for Warhammer <laughs> some cute dragons I must say there was a lot of different a lot of variety of figurines and I mean there was even steampunk stuff dragons a lot of handcrafted items t-shirts and so forth which are really great I mean there's a lot of detail look at those dinosaur heads this is actually one of the Warhammer players uh, that plays Marvin plays it with my son's club and uh, look at the detail that he put into that Inquisitor cosplay the Inquisitor being one of my favorite characters from the Warhammer 40k books and I think old Marvin, he really pulled it off well here. I mean, look at it. He's absolutely in character there. Fantastic stuff. What a cute little dinosaur. Stop at the peak! Wait, wait, come forward, come here. This is electric. You can't go beyond this, you'll get a shock. I'll tell you the financial indicators. There you go. Well done, 52. Hold it, hold your pose, hold your pose. This was actually a raffle, and I actually won that Super Mario figurine and cake. And yes, my little table. I just went and pull, pulled a whole lot of uh, consoles, 
you know, all the Nintendo and Sega stuff and a couple of other obscure consoles and stuck them together and it actually got a lot of attention. Well, that was Connect 2018, Port Elizabeth's Geek Convention. I must say, I really enjoyed it. Uh, there was a, a wide variety, uh, sort of covered off most genres. Only thing that I found a little bit lacking was the vintage and retro gaming stuff. That's why I actually brought along my own table at the last moment. I mean, I just decided this morning and went and grabbed a couple of consoles, stuck them in boxes, brought them across, and the interest was phenomenal. I didn't realize that there were so many people that actually had a connection to these consoles. Uh, it also amazed the kids walking past, having a look at them and deciding, geez, I had that, or my dad had that, or my grandfather had that one, and uh, it was really great. So I'm really glad that I did that. And it's something I'd actually like to do in the future, is actually put up a better display, uh, a little bit more organized with some more information and uh, not just do consoles but also the 8-bit and 16-bit computers because a lot of the people walking past was telling me you know they owned a Spectrum or they had a Commodore 64 or they had this or that computer back in the day and you know then they would just waffle off on how they used to load games or program games and you know it was really really great so I had a lot of fun today and I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed this as well and uh, yeah cheers from me guys and remember keep it retro